I think the first duty of the Muslim is to be a real Muslim. It is not we, we versus them, but it, it is a large we that includes everyone. We are all one family, the human family. Uh, we should cooperate. Uh, but the human being is not an angel. Uh, there is good and bad in the structure of the human being. And not everyone are clear enough and intelligent enough and strong enough to follow the right without asking who. It is the what that should be important, not the who. Still, we are suffering lots of prejudice, even amongst the members of the same religion, every religion. Still, we see terrorism, not only amongst Muslims. I think the Muslim terrorists are the minority. If you look up the world map and review the world history, um, Unfortunately, people ascribe every mistake by a Muslim to Islam itself. I cannot ascribe throwing atomic bombs on Japan to Jesus or to Christianity. I cannot ascribe the confiscation of freedom to Moses. His duty was to procure freedom. I cannot ascribe everything wrong a Muslim does to Muhammad. They do wrong in spite of being Muslims, not because they are Muslims. Had they been real Muslims, they wouldn't have committed those mistakes. Unfortunately, the media also don't show the whole picture. They focus on the bad things. Bad things make news. Good things never make news. Humanity should be sane again, or else humanity will commit suicide. Man is killing man. The, the general picture of the age we live in is man kills man. The general picture is the majority of the budget goes to killing and instruments of killing, not life and its instruments of life. I hope we become sane. I hope we can partake in bringing humanity to its senses before it is too late. Doctor, today you received an award from the Latino Muslims. The growth of Islam in America is becoming very apparent and very obvious. What do you think the legacy of Islam in America will be? Will we eventually turn this into a country that is moving in one direction together? Or what do you think the legacy will be? The important thing is not that all people would embrace, embrace one religion. The most important thing is that we are different. What are we going to do about it? Kill one another or be friends and cooperate? I think the religious answer, considering all religions, is cooperate on what you agree on. What you disagree on, leave it to the judge to judge. I've been wanting to ask you this question ever since I met you, and you are the foremost authority on this stem cell research. What do you think the future of it, and how should Muslims react to it? I'm not an authority on that, but if stem cell research is used to create new human beings, it's wrong. If it is used 
to heal the sick, it is good. What's your opinion how it's going to go? I hope some constitution will be formulated for stem cell research, especially that it is easier now, at least easy, to get stem cells without uh, approaching aborted fetuses or fertilized ova. There are other sources, and if you are using them to alleviate the sufferings of humanity and to cure illness, uh, it will be all right. And I'm hoping this will be the course that humanity will take. Is this just a furtherance of cloning? I mean, is this the same thing that happened in the 30s and 40s in Germany and Britain? Well, cloning occurs in very, very low, 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 lower creatures. Uh, it occurs in low, even lower than worms. It does occur in nature, but it is not the route that God has chosen for higher animals and for human beings to procreate. It is not. And therefore, we should stick to the way that obviously our Creator chose for us to use for procreation. And that is male and female, as, as the Bible says, male and female created he them. And the procreate through male and female union and not haphazardly within a marriage contract. This is the sense of man. This is how man is traveling up and up and up in the order of creatures. But to go back to the most primitive methods outside what God prescribed for us to follow, I am sure the result will not be a good one. As an obstetrician, I mean, then you, you, you don't really look at that as a viable means for human beings. No, no. And I hope nobody would. <laughs>